Hello everybody, my name is Dominic Stein, I am from the company ePhysics, and in today's video I will continue with our theory of heat project. So today I will talk about transducers, about different types of transducers, and explain how energy transfers in those transducers. So first of all, what is a transducer? Well, a transducer is a device that converts one form of energy into another form of energy. Now this energy can actually be any type of energy, for example electricity or even a physical phenomena. Now additionally a transducer also transfers a signal in one form of energy to a signal in another form of energy. Now there are actually many kinds, probably hundreds of different kinds of transducers, but there are also five main types of transducers. And the first one is the active transducer. Now the active transducer is very simple. It just converts one form of energy into another without needing an external power source. Now an example would be the thermocouple. And the thermocouple basically converts a difference in temperature into an electric voltage. Yeah. Now the second type of transducer is the passive transducer. The passive transducer, when activated, changes a specific electrical quantity, such as resistance. Now, to operate a passive transducer needs an external power source, often electrical current. Now, the active transducer and the passive transducers both are often electrical transducers. Just the one doesn't need an external power source, and the other one does. Now, another type of transducer is the sensor, and the sensor is actually a very special type of transducer because it is designed to detect a form or a specific characteristic of its environment. Additionally, a sensor also detects a parameter in one form of energy and reports this parameter to another form of energy. An example would be a pressure sensor, and a pressure sensor, a sensor detects pressure and then converts this given parameter into an electrical signal. And this electrical signal can be, for example, an alarm. Now, actuators are another form or another type of transducers. And actuators are actually more a kind of motor which are responsible for setting a mechanism in motion. Now, an actuator actually is operated by a source of energy, and this energy can be anything, electricity or something else, hydro, space. And then this actuator uses this energy and converts it into motion, moving the mechanism. Now, furthermore, actuators can also be a mechanism which activate a control system. And this control system can be software based or it can be a fixed mechanical system or an electronical system. Now lastly we have the bidirectional transducers and I think that those are the most special transducers and I'll, you will see why in a second. So the bidirectional transducer is actually able to convert a physical phenomena into electric signals and the other way around, electric signals into physical phenomena. Now one example would be the antenna radios, and those actually convert conducted electrical signals into electromagnetic waves. Another example would be the voice coils, and the voice coils convert a physical phenomena, so maybe sound, into electric signals, and this often happens in microphones, or electric signals into sound, which often happens in loudspeakers. And I think that that is fascinating that technology or those transducers are able to do that, to use physical phenomena and then convert it into electricity, electrical, electrical signals. That is unbelievable for me. So yeah, that has basically been the whole video where I explain to you what transducers are, the different types of transducers, and how energy transfers in those transducers. Thank you all for watching. My name is Dominic Stein from the company ePhysics. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.